Yeah, so we'll start with that first one. Obviously, we're a supporters group that exists to for better representation of South Asians in football. But it's that's in that's in the terms of fans, and that's why we exist. But for you guys, um, I'm going to start with you, Troy. Um, what what does representation in football mean to you, and why is it important? <laughs> Glad you started with me. That puts me under pressure. Um, it means everything that it's not now. Um, you know, I've been in the industry far too long and, and, and seen far too many of the same faces, you know, represented not only in the boardrooms, not only on coaching circles and in positions of influence, but as you quite rightly would say in fan bases, you know, I'm a fan as well as someone that works in the game and has seen enough over my lifetime to know that particularly if I talk about people of my colour skin, um, we are not represented in, the, in that field, you know, and we're having the conversations again, but these conversations are not new. The, these conversations have existed for as long as I've been in my role at Kick It Out, nine years and, and beyond, you know, and it's the massive frustration I have is just when are, when are we going to see change? You know, when are things going to happen? It's, it's not about the Black Lives Matter movement. This is not. This has been a topic that has been existed in football forever and a day. And I talk to players who are past, present and future, you know, and the past have, have highlighted things that never got dealt with. The present are highlighting what the past have had to go through to get to the stage they're in. And the future, we hope, are going to be the part of the change that we want to see, you know. So for however long I am or remain in position that I'm in is I'll always be talking about and challenging the, the very existence that representation only exists at entry level, only exists to entertain, but doesn't exist when it comes to influence and power, you know, from, from up above. So, uh, you know, it's, I hope that during this period of time, because of the enormity of what's happening globally at the moment and the spaces where the, no one can hide anymore, that absolutely we're talking about it, but also action in it. You know, the talk has been happening for far too long. And I just want to see what organisations now are doing about, you know, what actions are they going to put in place? What desire do they have for this change? Or do, do they think change loosens their power? You know, and, and for me, that's probably the most important point of, of where we are at this present stage. Cool. Um, Manisha, I'm going to come to you next. Um, as a Keep Your Academy coach um, and someone who works uh, towards improving mental health uh, in football, what, what does representation mean for you in, in, in the sport that we love? So I think, um, I'll echo what, what Troy said, because like, I would just describe representation as having um, a diverse group of people and having opportunities for a diverse group of people across all protected characteristics. And as Troy said, I think um, there's a lot of work being done from governing bodies um, and clubs at grassroots level to to almost address that balance. And I think um, that, that there's a lot more diversity there. We have diversity among players, you know, um, however, there's, there seems to be a gap between the diversity at grassroots level that we now have, the fact that you've got diversity, you know, at, um, among the players, but you don't have that uh, within coaching and management uh, particularly in the professional game. You don't have that uh, within other various departments across, you know, the professional game. Um, and we, people talk about visibility and yes, representation is about that. So you have, you have visibility at certain levels within the pyramid, but there are actually people who are qualified to do those jobs. So the question to be asked is, is why aren't those people being given the opportunities um, that, that, that they should be given and, and certainly not in a tokenistic way because they have the qualifications and the experience as well. So um, again, you know, representation is about having diverse people. Um, and, you know, I think diverse people brings diverse thinking and, and that's, that's really important, particularly when you're building a culture for, for diversity in, in, in any environment. Cool, thank you. And Anwar, I'm going to come to you because, I mean, you, you're, you've had a lot of firsts in your career and you've, you've made it up to management now. Um, so what, what is it for you that representation means? Well, it's, um, 
it's, it, it amazes me, really. I mean, 20 years ago, when I signed my first Premier League contract with West Ham, I was having similar conversations around representation when it comes to Asian players, coaches and management. Similar conversations about the lack of black managers, coaches, members of staff within football clubs. And, you know, as a young kid uh, breaking onto the scene with, with fellow uh, black and Asian players, I really felt like in maybe 10, 20 years time, the conversation would still exist because it's important, but we'd see huge change. And it's, it's quite sad, really, that, that we haven't. Um, and I always think about the reasons behind that, uh, which is why I do what I do. Um, currently, I'm at Aldershot as assistant manager, but in, in my day job with Fans for Diversity, I'm trying to work towards making the terraces reflect the towns and cities in which they sit. And it's really, really difficult. In some cases, you've got clubs, people, fans, fully supportive of what you're trying to do. In other cases, it's actually quite difficult. Um, so it's an uphill struggle, if I'm honest, but it's something that needs to change. And I think that, you know, it takes people to, to go above and beyond, to keep working hard, um, and, and do this daily. I mean, things happen all the time. There's always topical issues. There's always stuff we see in the news. And the attention is brought to a fore around that. Um, but the likes of Troy and Manish and myself, organisations, kick it out. This is something we're doing on a daily basis. You know, for us, it doesn't sort of come up and then you know, disappear or dissolve. It's something we're constantly working on. And um, one of the positive things for me about representation is that we have more people willing to support and get involved. The Punjabi Rams exist now, for example. 10, 20 years ago, they didn't. Now they do. And we can have these forums. We can do events. We can do activity with the support of more. And I think that number is increasing. And that's what's going to cut. That, that's what, for me, is, is how we're going to get positive change because there's more people supporting the people that actually need support in this area. 